someone in Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred's office needs to sit down with Marnie Sherman, the wife of John Sherman, the owner of the Kansas City Royals franchise, and explain how the stadium game rules go. If an owner loses a referendum that asks voters to help fund the owner's dream sports venue, you pick yourself up, take a deep breath, dust yourself off, and start all over again. You also never, ever use the word never, as in never working again with a local municipality. Marnie Sherman didn't read the stadium game rulebook after her husband's business, along with the owner of the National Football League's Kansas City Chiefs franchise, Clark Hunt, lost in their bid for public money from Jackson County, Missouri taxpayers for funding for a baseball stadium in downtown Kansas City and a renovated football stadium. She said it is all over for Kansas City. In a Facebook post, Marty Sherman violated stadium game rules of decorum. Unfortunately, neither team will work with Jackson County again. They had been working behind the scenes for two years, attempting to get a location approved, which I think County Executive Frank White's plan all along. In any case, most unfortunate for sports fans in KC, the lack of leadership has lost the city two treasured assets. I mean, if you don't support the Chiefs after three Super Bowl wins, why would they stay? We will be lucky if both teams wind up in Kansas, at least still in the area. But Sherman and Hunt have long-term stadium leases through 2031, and there's a good chance that by 2031, there will be a new set of Jackson County politicians in office, and those politicians may want to keep the two teams in Kansas City. Never, never means never in the stadium game. I'm Evan Weiner.